Hello everyone, welcome back to the online sessions of the material science and metallurgy. Myself Vivek Parikh, we are going to discuss about the crystal structure and crystal geometry in this lecture. We have already gone through the things that what is the unit cell, what are the different types of the atomic packing factor, we have gone for the derivation, then we have gone how they are increasing the direction, the plane that we have studied, the Miller indices we have gone through. So, about the crystal we have studied. Now, there are always a chances of the defects which are occurring inside the crystal. So, how many types of the defects which are likely to occur in the crystal? So, that thing that means the imperfection of the crystals, that thing we will be discussing in our today's lecture. So, let us start with the topic that is known as an imperfection. Now, what do you mean by an imperfection? That is basically it is the study which indicates the defects which are there inside the material. So, that means in a crystal, which are the chances or which are the likely chances of the defects to get inside the particular crystal structure. So, the properties of the material as you know they are very much sensitive. So, if there is any of the defect which is occurring inside the particular crystal system then there are likely chances the properties of the material will always get deteriorated. So, that is the reason why we have to go or we have to study about this particular imperfection. The effect of this defect is always not always adverse. Why? Because sometimes there are also it is helpful for us for getting certain types of the properties. As I give you an example, we are adding an impurity like a copper in a gold so that the strength of the gold is increased. So, in this way if you increase, if you insert any of the impurities inside the material then also it is helpful for us. That means the imperfection they are not always giving you the adverse effect, they are always having a both the side. Adverse, majorly adverse but sometimes they also gives us the beneficiary thing. That means this is how the imperfection works. So, sometimes of the certain properties of the material defect, sometimes they increase the properties and sometimes they will decrease the properties. So, how many types of the defects are there? Types of the imperfection, they are the point defect which is affected by a certain single atom or linear defect in that the whole line of atoms, they are creating the defect. Then surface defect, the whole surface is having a problem and the last one that is known as a volume defect. So, in today's lecture, we will discuss all this type of the defects which are occurring inside the material. So, let us start with the first one that is the point defect. It is attached by the movement of only one atom that means with the help of or only one atom is responsible for the defect. All atom possess vibrational when they are at the stationary thing, when the crystal is in position, what will happen? The atoms will constantly vibrate and when this vibrational energy exceeds certain limit, the atom breaks the bond and goes away. The result of freeing the atom will gives you a defect, point defect will occur. Different types of point defects which are occurring, they are frequency defect, self interstitial defect, interstitial impurity defect, substitutional impurity defect, short key and the last one Frankel. So, there are six different types of the defects which are occurring inside the material. Starting with the first one vacancy defect. Vacancy defect it is the defect why arising when a single atom leaves its position and goes away the defect which is generated inside a crystal that is known as a vacancy defect. Why it occurs? It occurs due to solidification process or the plastic deformation process. It occurs due to these two major reasons. Almost all the crystalline they are having some or the another vacancy defect is always present in all each and every crystals. This is the type of the thing how it looks this one atom has gone away from its original site and leaving the hole or you can say a vacant space inside that thing that's why it is known as a vacancy defect clear. Going with the second one the second one that is known as a self interstitial defect. When an atom leaves its original position and get located in the sides of the atomic structure, the defect which is occurring that is known as a self-interstitial. You can see over here, this is a self-interstitial defect, how uh, this atom, this atom from any other sources have gone and settled over here in between the particular atoms, then this type of the defect is known as a self-interstitial defect. You have to see that the atom which is replaced or which is sitting at this area, it is of the same size as of all these atoms 
only so that is known as an self interstitial defect clear then there is another interstitial impurity when any impurity atom is located in the space between the atom then that is known as an interstitial impurity here the thing which is going to settle over the space which is left between the atoms larger atoms the thing which is impurities will be going in the space which is left behind it so that is known as an interstitial impurity defect i told you in a self interstitial the size will remain same but in an interstitial impurity size of the impurity is very much small and they are located in the spaces which is left between the larger atoms this is the example of an stainless steel iron is there carbon is there carbon is an impurity and it will settle down in the space which is left by the iron atoms clear so that is your interstitial impurity defect moving forward for the next one that is known as an substitutional impurity defect what is this substitutional impurity when a foreign atom occupies the latai space of the regular atom means whatever any regular atom goes away and it has been replaced by any another foreign particle of the same size that is known as an substitutional impurity defect these are the blue atoms which are there but here one blue atom has gone away and one another thing that has come inside that is known as an substitutional of the same size green atom has replaced one blue atom that is known as an substitutional impurity defect if it is of the small size it is interstitial impurity and if the same atom is sitting in over here then that is known as an self interstitial defect let us see all this thing in this one thing this is our self interstitial defect vacancy defect substitutional and interstitial clear so these are the four defects which are there due to the atom now according to the ions two defects are there they are the short key defect short key defect they are associated with iron when a pair of positive and a negative ion leaves the space of the crystal and goes away from the crystal leaving behind the space vacant space behind it then that type of the defect is known as a short key defect you can see over here this is a perfect crystal plus minus plus minus n ion cation is there but in this short key defect over here one positive one negative ion has leave its space and just goes away leaving behind the vacancy after the sp vacant space remaining in the crystal and creating a defect this type of the defect where one anion and one cation leaves the position of it and goes away that is known as a short key defect and the last point defect there it is known as an frankel defect frankel defect is also associated with ions when any ion leaves its position but inside a crystal only it goes away and settle down then that type of the thing is known as an frankel defect you can see over here the one sodium atom over here one sodium atom is there it it have left his position and just goes away and have settled down at any space in the crystal only not going outside of the crystal then that type of the defect is known as an frankel defect short key frankel they are the types of the defect occurring due to the ions clear so this was about your very first defect that is known as an point defect now moving forward for the linear or you can say it as a line defect what do you mean by the linear or the line defect they are the arising of addition or subtraction or the deletion of a particular whole line of atoms in a crystal that type of the thing is known as a linear defect why does it occur it also occurs due to the solidification and the plastic deformation of the material during plastic deformation there is a large movement of atoms due to be, due to the force applied so what will happen there are chances of atoms going away or getting inside a particular crystal and due to that the defect occurs how many types of the defects are there there are two types of the defect which occur the first one that is known as an edge dislocation second one it is known as a screw dislocation now let us discuss this both the things first one edge dislocation let us discuss about the edge dislocation one of the most common crystal defect which is there that is known as an edge dislocation it is occurring due to the extra atom inserted in the crystal structure you can see over here these two atom that is an extra atom which are there inside the crystal 
what will happen as this location make it easier for atom to slip now this thing will slip over the surface and as a result you can see over here see this is the surface in which there is a blue color thing that is all this thing this is the atoms which more are coming inside the material this line is coming inside the material okay so over here there is a force and you can see over here these three atoms they are the addition due to this the force is applied what will happen this atom will proceed further so you can see over here they have reached over here and as a result it will move away and it will reach over here and as a result you can see there is none of the atoms line over here and this has slipped so as i told you in the previous slide that the material will try to slip on the thing so that is the thing how edge dislocation occurs the second one that is known as a screw dislocation screw dislocation is this type of the thing in which you can go for the particular this type of the defect screw dislocation is this type of the thing and edge dislocation is this type of the slipping of the material when you take a material and just goes away for the torsional force then the screw dislocation occurs it is the latest structure in the crystal in which atoms are arranged in a helical pattern helical pattern means they will follow this particular helical pattern when a normal stress is given the defect can be imagined if imagine a defect in a close book if you take a knife and insert that knife inside a book what will happen you can see that there is a bulging coming out of that book why because a knife is there inside a particular book so that is how your any of the screw dislocation occurs now let us see how the screw dislocation takes place over here you can see there is a turning force which is applied due to which it will slip on the atom this is the thing how it appears due to the screw dislocation okay so now let us discuss what is the difference between edge and screw dislocation the dislocation arises due to inter introduction or elimination of extra row here it is the crystal growth between because of the addition of the atom that means over here either the atoms are added or removed over here only atoms are added in the line tensile compressive load must be present here shear stress they are responsible region of latest distribution exceeds along the edges only over here it will move in the right angle it will proceed further that means it will move in the upper direction that means two separate planes at 90 degree we will be getting Berger vector. There is one imaginary vector. They are always perpendicular to the dislocation line. Here, Berger vector is always parallel to the line. That means a dislocation line. It occurs due to glide and climb, but it occurs only due to glide motion. There are two types: positive edge or negative edge. Introduction. They are of plus sign and elimination of the atoms. They are of the negative edge dislocation. There is no type which is there in this screw dislocation. Clear. this was all about your line defect or you can say linear defect in which we have studied two types of the defect that is edge dislocation and screw dislocation moving forward for the surface defect the third defect the surface defect they are associated with the boundaries that are separated regions of the material and due to which the crystal orientations has been changed now this defect is also caused by the solidification and due to the heat treatment which we are applying on the material now there are different types of the surface defect there are grain boundary defect twin boundary tilt boundary stacking fault these are the defects which are occurring in the surface defect let us discuss about the grain boundary defect you can you might be knowing about the grain boundaries what do you mean by grain boundaries in a material the different types of the crystal they are having the atoms are arranged in a different phase this atoms they are the one colony this atoms they are the another colony the sitting arrangement they are different as the students are sitting in the different classrooms in the different pattern and the two classrooms are separated by a wall in the same way the two crystal phases they are separated by the grain boundary these are the grain boundaries and due to that there is a defect which is occurring a grain is a portion of the material which are arrangement of the atom nearly identical that means they separate out the two different types of the arrangement 
Grain boundary defect are caused due to the separation of the grain and the different orientation for the polycrystalline material. That means the sitting arrangement of this is different and this is different. That means it is creating a border and that's why the different arrangement have a different types of the thing. That is how the grain boundary defect comes. In the same way, there is a twin boundary, the exactly twinning, twinning that means the duplicate thing that is occurring on the surface, due to that there is a twin surface defect is there. What do you mean by this twin boundary? That is the twin boundary is a plane across which a special mirror misorientation of the crystal structure is there. The region of the material between these is termed as a twin. You can see it was the thing that is, it was a straight line. It was a straight, this all the atoms are were in the same plane. But what happened? Due to certain type of the force or the heat treatment, you can see this thigh, this thing, they have slightly changed that orientation and have slightly came down. So this region is known as a twin plane. Why? Where it has gone for the translational thing. That means slanting thing, whatever thing they are there, that is known as a twinning effect. Twin can be produced when a shear force along the twin boundary causes atom to shift out its position. So the shifting of the whole surface over here if there is a surface is there and due to certain force if this thing has come down and gone away. So that is how the twin boundary due to certain force applied on the surface the twin boundary defect occurs. The next one that is the tilt boundary when your particular material the boundaries are tilt if in a thing if you are having a structure in which all the atoms are located in a straight line and if due to any reason there are changes in the small angle you can see over here the small angle changes you can see in these boundaries then that is known as a tilt boundary defect. Small angle grain boundaries is formed when edge dislocation. Due to edge dislocation, this type of the tilt boundary, that means originally it is like this, but due to the thing, edge dislocation, it has slightly changes orientation by certain small angles. A tilt boundary between the two slight misalignment appear as an array of the edge dislocation and as a result, it appears as a defect. And the last one that is known as a stacking fault defect. Stacking fault, they are basically the thing or the stacks. How the atomic planes are arranged, it is on that. If an original thing of stack that is ABC, ABC type, and due to certain reason, if there is a change in this stack, that means ACB, CAB, ACB, this is a stacking fault. Means there should be always A, B, C. A, B, C is there but due to something if the thing that is A, C, A, B this type of the stack means layer by layer if from the original they are being getting changed then that type of the defect is known as a stacking fault defect. Clear? So this is how you can see over here the A, B, C, A, B, C type is there and they have been replaced by the thing that is the stacking fault. So here you can see ABC, ABC type of crystal and here the, there is a change in the arrangement which is there. So that is known as a stacking fault defect. And last defect that occurs that is the fourth type that is the volume defect. What does the volume defect? It is due to the presence of the voids inside the material. During the solidification if there is a gas material or any of the gas which is there inside the material then creating a void that is occurs due to the volume defect. And voids which are left that due to the gases which are not coming out, they are the voids which are remaining inside, they will change the volume. So they will what they will do? They will change the volume of the crystal and as a result the crystal defect occurs. And due to the voids there is a volume differences which is occurring due to that creating a defect. So that was the volume defect. There are certain volume defect in which the foreign particles are also responsible. The porosity, the holes, blow holes, they are all responsible for the volume defect by which the volume of the crystal if changed, then that all falls under the defect that is known as a volume defect. So this was all about the different types of the defects which are occurring inside your crystal. Clear? So. There are certain numericals which are there and one topic of the strain hardening and all that we will be discussing in our upcoming lecture. So this is what up to this of this lecture and we will proceed further in the next lecture till then thank you.